big day. A big show, kind of. You ready? Yeah. It's my big day too. <laughs> it's one contributing factor. I have one thing to do. One thing. You better do it right. It's today. On this day. It's all about me. I'm just kidding. Uh, it's her, uh, her uh, egg retrieval day today. So uh, this is Heartland. They got a new location. Way better. This is in Tuxedo Business Park in Winnipeg. And it's on the south side of Winnipeg, which is way more convenient for us coming from Steinbeck. And this is where all our money goes. <laughs> this is where all of the debt comes from. Yes. <laughs> she just did the calculations. We're at 22,700 and some, right? Yeah. For this round? So far. So far. That's not the end. That's not the end at all. There's at least another $2,000 uh, transfer fee, plus the genetic testing. Plus the uh, infusions that I got last time. Infusions? Yeah. Cool. Oh, and the progesterone and oil. Progesterone, yeah. Do the yes. butt shocks. Oh, and butt the, needles. yes, butt needles. Butt needles. Yeah. So we still have a few thousand to go, so. We might hit 30,000 on this journey. We might. Well, hopefully it's all worth it and we get more than one. That'd be great. But even if we get none, we have Theo at home. Yeah. But we're hoping for another couple. We're happy. We're fulfilled. Yeah. We have our family now. But it'd be nice to make it bigger. Doing our best. Doing everything we can. This is the last time uh, we're going through this. Yeah, I'm never doing this again. <laughs> I'm tired. Yeah. I handled it well this time. I didn't have too many hormonal freakouts, eh? Not at all. No. Uh, couple days where I was a little extra. Yeah, it was a but and I've been slightly more tired. But other than that, no nerves, no nothing. You walk into it the second time, you're just like, hey. Yeah, been here, done that. Let's get it done. Yeah, give me my needles. I gotta get out of here. I wanna get home to my kid. Yeah. <laughs> so Theo's at home uh, with Oma. As usual. Right now. And uh, she's watched him over here because after this, uh, she's got a get a little bit drugged up for the procedure. The doctor's gonna sedate her pretty well. I'm pretty happy about that. <laughs> it's a good time, I get to party. Yeah. It's a vacation for me. Today's my vacation day, okay? Yeah, it's a vacation. <laughs> Let's go get your eggs pulled out of you. Nice vacation. These are the lengths I have to go to to get a day off, okay? <laughs> <laughs> so we're half an hour early. We're just waiting here in the car. We don't wanna go in plug up the inside there. I haven't been inside this location yet. On the last egg transfer, or the whole IVF procedure last time, I was at every single ultrasound. I was also around a lot more. And uh, this time, the situation's just a little different. You know, we have a, a new house, uh, bigger bills, and I have to keep working. So, got Theo to pay for. And we have he Theo. Needs he needs to eat. He, lo he loves eating. He likes diapers too. He diapers, likes to go through those. Yes. Diapers. Yeah. So I've had to keep working through all of this but I get to be here for, well, I have to I have to be here for this one. Uh, but uh, I also get to be here for the next 24 hours. I have to watch her, make sure that she recovers uh, well. Nothing goes wrong or anything. Not that we're expecting it to, but it should be just fine. Yeah, the last time it would have been really, really nerve wracking. I was already anxious enough and didn't know how to navigate the situation. So last time, if you hadn't been there, I would have been really disappointed, but this time, don't get me wrong, it would have been nice to have you there, but I didn't need you there because I knew yeah. what to expect from the whole situation. Needed money more. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. We want to pay this off as soon as possible. <laughs> yeah. So we'll be work, work, working, and then hopefully in a couple of months we'll be able to uh, announce that there's another baby on the way. Hopefully. Hopefully. We'll, we'll see. see. It's all hooked up. <laughs> Just about ready. <laughs> this arm didn't work out so well. That vein's tired of getting poked. She's got her lucky socks on. And the lucky leg hair too. Can't see it. So we're just waiting for them to be ready. And they're going to bring us into the room mm -hmm. where everything happens. They're number one. We're the first ones today. They got lots of retrievals today. So they'll be fresh ready for us. Nervous? Yeah. No? 
I'm ready mm -hmm. to party. All right. And I'm ready for, for McDonald's. You want your drugs? They demand a high salt diet. Yeah. For seven to ten days after. Well, we're back in the vehicle getting ready to go home. Britt is feeling really good. I'm feeling excellent. <laughs> you could see it hit her. I was in the room uh, with her when they were uh, putting it into her IV, all the stuff to settle her down and take the pain away, and you could just see it just pure relaxation settle mm -hmm. over her face. Yeah. <laughs> we forgot some paperwork though. We had to come back for it. We had already gone to McDonald's because she's supposed to be on a salty diet, so they one time that a doctor is going to tell you to go get McDonald's. <laughs> They're not serving lunch yet. I don't want their breakfast. Yeah, that was very disappointing when you showed up there. Since when does McDonald's not serve burgers in the morning? Right? They always did. Even Burger King, I would go at like 7 a.m. and they'd still have Whoppers. Yeah, I thought that, you know, you could only get breakfast in the morning, not in the afternoon, but you can get burgers anytime. We can't get burgers in the morning That's anymore at this McDonald's. Rude. We'll get it in Steinbeck. We this don't want to give Winnipeg our business. <laughs> it's a crisis. Rude. Oh well, we should go support our local McDonald's anyway. They'll give us burgers. Yeah. The Winnipeg ones, yeah, they don't, give you, they don't give you burgers in the morning. When did that happen? Has it always been that way? I was telling her I should probably be proud that I don't know the McDonald's dinner and meal schedule that well because I don't eat there that often. This is a step up for us. Yeah. It's good. Okay, I'm gonna get her home and get some McDonald's. We'll find some. We'll find some burgers somewhere. Mm -hmm. We'll get you a burger. And fries. And fries, yeah. And extra pickles. Ugh. She can have all of mine. I I tell them no pickles in my burgers. She wants extra pickles all the time. You're a demon. What? I'm liking pickles. I'm a demon. You're evil. Opposites attract. What do you think about another skin puppy, Chevy? Oh no. <laughs> this one's quite a bit already. Diesel, what do you think? I could use a few more gray hairs, I guess. <laughs> so we're back home, and the woman of the hour is all recovered. Oops. How do you feel now? Four days later. That's four days later. So we had how many eggs? You want to tell them? We had six eggs. Five were mature. Five got fertilized. Three made it the first 24 hours. And then I had an update yesterday that said all three are still dividing and growing. So that's a really good sign. So let's hope Monday or Tuesday, today's Sunday, let's hope Monday or Tuesday we get the good word that they all made it to freeze. So it could be three, hopefully. Night two, no, day three. three. No, day two was rough. Overnight, I gained two and a half pounds in fluid, and uh, I was extremely bloated and uncomfortable. And that can get dangerous, but thankfully, the following night, I lost two and a half pounds overnight again. It all absorbed, so yeah, I'm feeling good now. Day four, day four. Day four. I think so. Is this day five? Okay. Happened on Monday, right? The retrieval Wednesday? was on a Wednesday. Wednesday? Thursday, Thursday Friday. Friday. It's four. Sunday. Four days, yeah. We're wrapping this up on Sunday. Yeah, I wasn't feeling so hot a couple days ago, so it wasn't a good time to wrap it up. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the next day uh, was more painful than the, the first round for her. She was in quite a bit of pain, so I stayed home for Wednesday and Thursday. And then uh, we went out on a trip, which you'll see in tomorrow's video, on uh, Friday and Saturday. And now it's Sunday already, we're in the future. And uh, just putting this together. Yeah, I felt really bad about that. I asked him, he had a trip all lined up, and I asked him to stay home an extra day, because I just, bending over and picking up Theo, I mean, he's, he's at least 24 pounds. He might be pushing 25 pounds by now. He's a, he's a big boy, so it's it's a lot to pick him up right now. Oh, you so. shouldn't feel bad about that. I was yeah. happy to stay home. I don't like asking for help on one of those. Yeah. But I will if I have to. Like, I had really bad sciatica the week before. 
worst I'd ever had and finally I caved one morning and called his mom and asked her to come over and help me with the dogs and Theo because I could barely walk. <laughs> Eventually I cave. I'm just a little bit stubborn in the meantime, like my father. Yeah. I was just going to say, I wonder where you get that from. Mm, a certain <laughs> man named Jerry. He's watching right now. Hello. <laughs> Hi, Daddy. <laughs> But I'm feeling good, feeling mm -hmm. really good, and hoping that all three, all three of the uh, embryos make it. Mm -hmm. We would then have the possibility of five children if all the transfers took. Yeah, if they turned out as good as the first one, or the first transfer is Theo. Yeah. Yeah. So next step is in a couple months we're gonna hopefully transfer uh, the last embryo from Theo's batch, so Theo's twin, so to speak. Yeah. When is that going to happen, do you figure? Um, April or May, I think. April or May? Yeah, we'll see if I need some tests first. But. Hopefully it goes as smoothly as uh, when Theo was... Theo went absolutely perfect. Everything. Yeah. Except, well, the pregnancy towards the end, you had preeclampsia. Uh, and six weeks into the pregnancy, I had a really bad bleed. And we thought I was miscarrying. That's like right. Hospital. It scared us. But it ha happened to just be a blood clot, so I was okay. And baby was okay, so I just took it easy after that. And the morning sickness sucked, but I was like textbook. By 13 weeks, no more morning sickness. But you do what you gotta do. I didn't mind. Look what I got out of the deal. Well, you're sleeping. You can't look right now. Not just a truck driver. <laughs> More to me than just driving a truck. So this is our, uh, like I've been telling you through this video, our second time through this. Thanks for hanging out with us and being there with us through this journey. It's, uh, it's really exciting to see what you know, modern medicine and doctors can do. It's amazing. We're very thankful. So. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm back in the truck tomorrow. I'll see you then. <laughs>